This is Node to Code, a plugin for Blender 3D that allows you to build your own custom add ons. This means you can convert a collection of shaders into your own add on that will always be immediately available whenever you open up Blender. No more appending nodes or opening images. With Node to Code, you can instantly add a selected shader setup with only one click. Additionally, Node to Code also retains frame information, text fields, and images, which means you can spend less time fixing broken references and more time building your projects. On top of this, Node to Code will also instantly package your add on for you, so it is ready to share or sell. Here I have an example of three PBR materials that I wish to convert into my own custom add-on. To do this, I will select the first setup with all the image maps. Then I will navigate to the Node to Code add-on in the right hand menu. From here we'll give this add-on a name called Material 1 and click Generate. Next we'll repeat the process for the other two PBR materials, giving them unique names and generating a script for each one. Once we have created our three scripts, we will now combine them into a collective add-on. Here I'm going to select Combine and in each slot choose a given script. We'll also need to add one more slot for the last script. After this, we are going to give our collective add-on a name. Here I'm going to call it My Materials. Next we'll click Combine and the add-on will automatically show up in the Export section. Now we just need to select a specified output location. After this, we'll click Export. Now that we have exported our add-on, let's open up the user preferences and install it. Here we'll navigate to the Add-ons tab and then click Install from File. As you can see in the specified location, we now have a zip file with the name My Materials. We'll select this file and click Install. Next we need to activate the add-on. If we navigate to the right hand menu in the node editor, we can now see the add-on is available. Let's open up a new file in Blender. Notice that in the node editor, we still have our add-on available. Here we'll add a basic node material to our default cube. Then we'll go to our add-on, select material 1 and click add setup. Immediately our previous node setup is now available. From here we can connect the shader into our current material. Notice that all the images have been successfully stored, so we don't have to worry about any broken references when we move the file. Here I'll also add the other two materials. We can do this any number of times in any number of materials in any Blender file. Currently the standard version of Node to Code comes with documentation to let you customize the data of your add-on, such as author, version number and description. With the extended version you also get access to 4 extra guides that walk you through adding icons, custom image icons, layout and location of the add-on panel. For now only material nodes are supported, however compositing, world and texture node support is on the way. This add-on works for both Blender 2.79 and Blender 2.8, which means you can use it in both Eevee and Cycles. Save yourself time and build your own add-ons with Node to Code. Available from the Blender Market and Gum Road. Links are in the description below.